Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to my weekly Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are simple, fun, and easy to recreate. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's card, I'm featuring a stamp set called Christmas Gleaming. I also have a leftover piece of uh, designer series paper that is all in strips from last Monday's video. So go check that one out and then come back and see this one. I'm going to use this in the project today. For so there's many steps in this card. This is step number one. I have a piece of Purple Posy cardstock and I and it's sized four by five and a quarter. I have marked off a half inch from the bottom and now I'm using, I guess this is a flourish from the Christmas Gleaming stamp set. I used Highland Heather to stamp that twice and the pencil line is just just there for me to make sure that it's somewhat straight and I will erase the line in a minute. The sentiment is from the Christmas Gleaming stamp set and I made sure that I inked my stamp up really well and then I stamped on a just a little strip of Whisper White. It was an off cut for when I cut down some of my quarter panels. The ornament here I inked up with Highland Heather and then with a dauber I went in and dotted the center kind of the more, most bulbous part of the middle with Knight of Navy. So I stamped this about two inches from the left and about half an inch down. In case you wanted to know my placement here <laughs> it just makes it so that everything fit correctly so I have a mask here this is Inka Dinka Do masking paper but you could use a post-it note or copy paper or just even something you know stamp uh, on something and then just cut it out it doesn't have to be sticky I'm just particular I stamped with or I inked up my second ornament with balmy blue and now I'm coming in with night of navy and I'm going around the edges so it's going to be light on the middle and I'm going to stamp that to the right of my first bobble and it's going because I masked it it's going to be behind and I have removed the mask and now I'm going in with my watercolor pencils from Stampin' Up. And of course, if you don't have watercolor pencils, you certainly can use whatever watercolor pencils you have. Or if you just wanna use pencil crayons, that would work too. So I have, I think this is Gorgeous Grape and I am coloring some of the flourishes and I'm also shading a little bit too. I went in with, I think this is Coastal Cabana and, um, shaded around the edges of the big one and did some of the flourishes in the little one and then of course uh, basic gray for the knobs of the I don't know what those are called I, someone told me last year and I've forgotten already <laughs> um, the ornament hangy do things all right so this is a wink of Stella that has been used up and I refilled it with water and I painted the top pink so that I knew that it was all water and now I am moving my watercolor pencil around to create uh, more even uh, coloring and it's a blend and now I'm going in with the uh, gorgeous grape and I'm just going around the edges so I'm deepening the edges I'm trying to create dimension in this very flat card right now uh, I did the same with the blue as well so just trying to play around with my coloring a little bit. So here is my little strip. And like I said, if you were around uh, watching my last Monday's video, you would have seen me, or maybe it might've been Wednesdays. I'm not sure. Last week's video, I made this strip. I held on to it because I had this idea. I wanted to create sort of like a layering piece. So I did attach the Snowflake Splendor quarter inch ribbon. And now I've cut it on an angle and put 
like a dimensional adhesive. I had just a little extra bit of dimensional adhesive lying around. I erased my pencil line and now I am uh, cutting my sentiment. I'm making sure that that sentiment is nicely trimmed down so there's very little white showing but just a little and then I'm going to share with you something from the brand new catalog I'm so excited to share these are called Bren blending brushes they I will give you a good close-up viewing of them they are coming in the new catalog in January they are $16.25 Canadian for three. They're large. I love them. This is how you use them. I have a non-porous sheet here that is underneath my cardstock and that's purple posy cardstock that I'm using. And I have come in with my Highland Heather. I sort of tapped on the outside, but you really don't have to do that so much. Um, I do it just out of habit. But you start on the edges and look how seamless that blends. It is gorgeous. Uh, I, you, you can see what you're doing. You can create highs and lows. This is great when you're working with uh, a colored cardstock like Purple Posy, and you know, and you want to create a little bit more depth if it's a little plain. You know what I'm saying? So I used my favorite dry adhesive, which is Stampin' Seal, and I adhered this panel to my thick whisper white cardstock, shocker, white cardstock. <laughs> and then I put my little strip of Snowflake Splendor designer series paper, and there was some glitter papers in there as well. I trimmed off the excess. I have dimensional adhesive on the back of my sentiment and I'm going to plunk that down in an appropriate spot that is pleasing to my eye and then the piece de resistance I shall add the blue adhesive backed gems these are lovely and they match with uh, the theme that I'm going with here purple and blue uh, I think every Christmas I do uh, a, a, like a purple card um, I love it. It's a non-traditional um, color for Christmas and I just dig it so much. So I put three down and that is my card for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.